DJI. That name dominates the skies. The biggest drone manufacturer not only here in the United States, but all over the world. And for the people who fly drones just for a hobby or if you're trying to make a blockbuster movie, DJI drones are synonymous for both of those applications. But what if I told you that there is a fleet of American-made drones rising from the shadows, rugged powerful drones, and they have no DJI affiliation? Well, in this video, I'm about to show you the top five drones made in the USA for 2025. We're going to go over the features and specifications and show you everything you need to know about American-made drones. And I'll also tell you about how much they cost and where you can get them. But there are a few things about all of these drones that will surprise you. And how do these drones stand up to the powerful dominance of DJI? Let's break down all the details to show you everything there is to know about a US drone. Are you ready? Let's go! Ten years ago, an American-made company released an American-made drone aimed at both consumer and professional aerial photography markets. This American company, 3D Robotics, also known as 3DR, is located in California. And the drone that they made is this drone that I'm holding right now, the 3DR Solo. And after one year of production of this drone in 2016, the 3DR Solo was discontinued. The company, 3DR, ten years later is still here. but. No no software is available for this drone, it won't fly, and they no longer manufacture drones, and the question here is, why? You see, this has been the stigmatism of American-made drones for years. Untrustworthy, unreliable, inconsistent, overpriced, oversized, and underrated. And with this type of reputation, it seems as though it would be difficult for any American-made drone to bounce back. But during the last few years, there has been a complete turnaround on the American-made drones in regard to quality, technology, and reliability. The five drones that I'm about to show you will surprise you in many ways, not just about quality and consistency, but also in regard to cost. And this is by no means a comparison video. This is to show you exactly what these American-made drones can do and what they cannot do. And here's the catch. None of these drones are consumer drones. And the truth is that there are only a few truly American-made drones. And the few companies that used to manufacture these drones exited the consumer market and now only focus on military and industrial enterprise drones. And the reason that I mentioned DJI's dominance in the beginning of this video is because nearly all drones that are under $1,000, no matter where they're made, will all be made in either China or Taiwan. And the United States does not have the capability or the capacity to be able to produce a drone that is $1,000 or less. Well, that is unless they're using Chinese parts. So first up on the list is the Skydio X10. This is the next evolution in autonomous enterprise drones. The company is located in Haywood, California, and Skydio released this drone on September of 2023. Now, the main chassis of this drone is assembled in the United States, but the camera sensors all come from China, with the exception of the thermal sensor, a Flare Boson Plus, which does not come from China. Now, when we talk about what makes this drone so smart, you have to look at the processor. And we're not just talking about a chip, we're talking about a supercomputer the size of a credit card. Basically, this is what's called a system on chip or SOC. And that means it combines everything that a computer will need right onto a single piece of silicon. So listen, the SOC is designed by NVIDIA and they're an American company based here in California, but it is manufactured in Taiwan. So to be clear, as I mentioned in the beginning, none of these have DJI affiliation, but some of the parts are manufactured in Asia. Now let's talk about specifications. Flight time, 40 minutes, speed 45 miles per hour, weight 4.65 pounds, it's IP55 rated for dust and water resistance, obstacle avoidance, it has a true 360 degree obstacle avoidance by using six navigational cameras, night sensing mode, this drone will fly autonomously in complete darkness, meaning pitch black, zero light, and it uses infrared illumination to fly flawlessly at night, connectivity, we're talking 5G LTE cellular global coverage on any network and that means that this drone will fly unlimited range 
And just so you know, unlike the DJI Matrice 30T, which does not have NDAA compliance, the Skydio X10 has the highest rating for NDAA compliance within the United States. So if you want to buy this drone, the price tag will set you back about fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars, and you don't have to be a government agency to buy one of these. You can purchase the Skydio X10 through several trusted authorized resellers, and I'll have links in the description so you can go get it. To summarize, the Skydio X10 is an excellent drone. It has AI autonomous features that are mind-blowing and the obstacle avoidance is unmatched. The only discrepancy that I can find is that it's just not a practical drone for everyday use. It's an enterprise drone meant for industry, law enforcement, construction, surveying, inspections. And at that price tag, you wouldn't want to fly this drone around every day anyway. The next drone is from a company, Vantage Robotics, and they operate in the Silicon Valley, San Leandro, California. They have NDAA compliant American made drones such as the nano drone called the trace this is a pocket-sized drone that weighs 153 grams. It's designed for discrete ISR missions. And if you don't know what ISR stands for, that means intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. It has a tiny swappable lithium-based battery that will give you a flight time up to 30 minutes. Can you believe that? And the frame on this tiny aircraft is rated at IP53 for dust and water resistance. And in regard to the camera specifications, it has a 48 megapixel sensor with an f-stop of 1.8 it will shoot video at 1080p or 4k and also the camera array has a thermal infrared sensor at 320 by 240 resolution and it has a two access camera gimbal that will tilt plus 70 degrees all the way to minus 90 degrees and in case i didn't mention this also has 360 degree obstacle avoidance now the vantage robotics trace is primarily designed and marketed for the department of defense DOD, law enforcement, and other government critical infrastructure users. The trace complies with strict U.S. government standards such as security, encryption, and sourcing. This is crucial for our defense and for national security, but it is not relevant for the general consumer. But nevertheless, you will still be able to purchase this tiny drone, and the price tag will only set you back somewhere from $9,000 to $11,000. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? Moving up to Woodenville, Washington, USA to check out Free Fly Systems Incorporated. They meticulously built a drone called the Astro Prime. Impressive. It has a flight time of 38 minutes with no payload and typically 25 to 32 minutes when carrying the maximum payload of 3.3 pounds. And the payload integrated into the system is a Sony ILX LR1 61 megapix digital camera that is manufactured in Taiwan. Now the camera gimbal that FreeFly designed and built is second to none. And coupled with the Sony camera, which by the way has a full frame sensor, and with the ISO ranging from 100 to 32,000, that's pretty impressive. And in in regard to software, there is an Arturian Mission Control desktop application for computers or laptops which will allow viewing of real-time telemetry and camera feeds from the drone. And there's a thermal module that attaches to the camera via an expansion port. Now this drone has blue UAS clearance. This is a term that was coined by the Department of Defense and what it means is that the drone has been vetted and approved for use by federal agencies. And it also complies with the National Defense Authorization Act NDAA Section 848, which prohibits the use of drones with certain foreign, especially Chinese, components. Now, I know you're wondering, what about the Sony camera? Isn't that made in China? Well, let me explain how this works. The camera is integrated into the drone, but it is not a part of the critical flight system. It's considered as a payload. It's just as if the drone was carrying a bag of groceries. The NDAA only prohibits foreign components in specific categories such as the flight controls, the radio, the data links, the GNSS modules. So this drone is NDAA compliant. But I want to know how much this thing costs because I would really like to get my hands on this Astro Prime. So I researched and found that FreeFly has authorized resellers and dealers who will be able to sell me the base kit for around $27,000 USD or I can get a great deal on the payload kit which ranges from $27,000 to $33,000 USD. 
So basically this drone cost twice as much as the car that I just bought. Let's move to the next American made drone and hopefully I'll find one that is geared towards the consumer. Parrot, a company based in Massachusetts, built this US drone called the Anify USA. This drone is specifically designed for the US Department of Defense and the federal sector. It's NDAA compliant and also approved by the Blue SUAS program. So the federal agencies that you're familiar with that use this drone will be the FBI, the DEA, and Customs and Border Protection. And I'll bet that this drone is the eye in the sky that's making sure DJI drones don't get in too quickly. Now the two main features on this drone will be the flare thermal sensor and a 32x zoom camera. The drone weighs 500 grams on takeoff and has a flight time of 32 minutes. It's IP53 rated of course for hot and cold extreme weather. And just as the others, the software is encrypted so you won't be able to hack this drone too easily. Now the cost is going to be much more reasonable than the other drones you looked at because we're only talking about $6,000 to $10,000. And surprisingly that includes the batteries and the controller. Now if you go to the Parrot website you'll find a list of resellers all authorized in the US. And if you're nice to them or you just let them know that you're with public safety or you're using it for commercial use, they may offer you a bundle option with accessories. But that could potentially put the final sale at $14,000 USD. Let's try one more. The Easy Aerial Sam's T and this company is headquartered in Brooklyn, New York. The design of this drone and the manufacturing is entirely made in the USA and the good people who built this drone are specialists in military operations and tech fields and it is fully supported by the US Air Force. The current applications for this drone will be border and perimeter security, first responder deployment, public event surveillance, and critical site monitoring. None of these are your typical walk to the park with your kid to go fly a drone, right? And in regard to the specifications on this drone, it has a flight time of 45 minutes and will fly at a speed of 65 miles per hour. The payload capacity is 4.4 pounds and it's rated at IP54 or higher with a chassis that is weather resistant. Now one of the key features on this drone is the fact that you can tether this drone to a power Power source and the power source is retractable for up to 160 to 360 feet. That means you can fly this drone basically forever, but untethered, the battery time will last 35 to 45 minutes. Now, I've given you some brief details on these American made drones, and you know that there's much more to it than this. They're technologically advanced, the software is encrypted, they'll all fly autonomously, night or day, they have thermal sensing on board with cameras that can zoom from 32x to 180 times magnification. Some of this is unlike anything you've ever seen, right? But it comes with a price. And the price sometimes doesn't have anything to do with how much the drone costs. It's about the normal average everyday American to be able to establish a sense of practicality and usability when they're considering a purchase of a new drone. So far as it stands, there has been nothing in the United States that fills that void. And we as the American people have the right to choose what is the best being provided when there is nothing else being provided at all. Think about this powerful question, one that resonates with a lot of Americans right now, especially drone pilots and tech hobbyists, is it comparative to say that if we as US citizens cannot buy affordable drones, then aren't we in a sense just like the countries we're trying to ban from the United States? It's not communism here in the US, it's economic regulation. And of course there is a need for national security. So let's keep all of this in mind and either build something that we can use or use something that we cannot build. I would really like to hear your thoughts on this particular particular topic. That's all I have for this video. Comment below and let me know what it is that you think. Until then, I will see you all on the next video.